Friends, last period ES6, that is pedagogy of English, we have already seen what are the different types of instruction material and what is the meaning of instruction material. Friends, when teacher use different types of teaching aids at the time of teaching, that type of teaching aids is known as instructional material. Just look at the blackboard. Instructional material, we have seen there are two types, three types. There is print material, non-print material and unconventional material. In print material, there is textbook, supplementary material, workbook, reference book, teacher's handbook, newspaper, magazine, articles. Non-print material, audio material, visual material and audio-visual material. Friends, today we are going to collect more information about these two types that is print material and non-print material. In print material, first textbook. A textbook is the prescribed book for the students of a particular standard. It covers the syllabus. It is prepared according to the objectives of the curriculum. It is the basis of teaching learning process. It is the most important print material. It is permanent record of teaching forever. It helps to establish similarity in teaching. It helps the teachers and students for teaching learning process. Now second, supplementary material. First, workbook. Workbooks are prepared to write the report of practical work. It is evaluating type of work and which is very much important for student. Second, reference book. Reference book helps the student to get additional information regarding the points in the syllabus. The students can get these books from the library of the school as well as other available sources. Third, teacher's handbook. These books are specially preferred for the teachers. The important reference teaching procedure and important instructions related to the textbook are given in the teacher's handbook. Newspapers. These are some newspapers where we find a separate section for education. In addition to these, some articles in the newspapers are related to the topics in the school subject. These articles are articles give very valuable information. These articles are useful to the teachers as well as students so that teacher and student has to use this type of newspapers for study. Fifth, magazine articles. Some articles in the magazines are useful to supplement the knowledge of the teachers as well as to the students related to the syllabus. Till now we have seen about the information of the print type of instructional material. Here now onwards we shall consider about the non-print type of instructional material. Now just pay attention, we are going to collect more information about non-print material. In first, audio material. Radio. Radio is an important audio material. There has been a broadcasting of some lessons on the radio since May decades. The well-known well teachers of the subject have been invited for the purpose. This has been proved to be very useful for the students. The teacher is supposed to make necessary preparation for that. The program is known to the school well in advance. In the first stage, teachers should give the preliminary introduction. Then there will be the actual listening of the program. The student listen to it. The third step will be discussion and question answer about the program in the class among the student and the teacher. So also pronunciation can be improved. Second, tape recorder. The tape recorder can be used in two ways. The first way to display important lectures with the help of cassettes. The second way is the purpose of the pupil's correction work. It means people's talk will be recorded and then it will be displayed. The mistakes in the talk can be pointed and get them corrected afterwards. Third, a record player and cassette recorder. Records and cassette for language learners are prepared under the ideal condition. They are helpful to teach and correct stress, intonation, rhythm, style, pause and articulation. The language laboratory. This is a teaching room with the electronic devices. There is a provision of recording and reproducing speech. Here the students listen, repeat and again listen to their speech. Every student can develop his or her speech without the interference of other students. Now third, visual material, blackboard. The blackboard is very useful to every stage of learning. 
the teacher write new words phrases sentence patterns question on the blackboard and the important figure is drawn on the blackboard it can be used by several ways it is called as chalkboard second pictures the things places persons animals which are very important from the teaching point of view can be shown by the pictures those pictures should be large enough that students sitting on the benches should see them clearly the perfect pictures of an important point is the word that hundreds of words the himalayas that video third is slides slides can be displayed with the help of projectors slides can be shown by required order the teacher can prefer his her own slide film strips film strips can be display on the screen in given sequence educational film strips are available in the market overhead projector the overhead projector the transparency is about the important information figures sketches can be prepared and shown to the class with the help of overhead projector lcd projector the important information and prepared slides on pen drive can be presented to the audience on the screen with the help of lcd projector charts the charts are very useful to present and take practice of words structures grammars part in english graphs the graph is figure consisting of a line or lines here the information is given very clear detail manner the graphs are also useful to present information to grew bold in systematic way maps and globe the maps and globes are very useful to show the location places rivers mountain railway lines so also to show location of various contains countries big cities the world these slides are very essential in geography teaching posters posters are large pictures the posters help the student to get clear understanding of the topic flannel board flannel board is made of wooden board which is covered with the flannel stiff and sandal pieces of paper put on this this stick up there particularly to show the developing incidents in a story the flannel board is the best instructional material the teacher can arrange the situation as per requirement specimens the specimens particularly from the science laboratory are very much useful from the point of view for understanding the topic a specimen is a small amount of something that is an animal a plant a fish a stone object sometimes it is possible to show actual object particularly while introducing english in lower classes the teachers can make a big bag containing many small objects like a pen pencil eraser pen color boss notebook these objects help the teacher to introduce new words epidioscope when teacher wants to present some written material or some printed material to the class the epidioscope is very good teaching aids the enlarged image can be shown on the screen the whole class can observe this the teacher can give some commentary on simultaneously flash card there are two types of flash card pictures flash card with without words or sentence second word phrases or sentence flash card for the beginners it is very good tool them english students today we have studied about this two topic print material and non print material i hope all of you understood this topic next period we are going to collect more information about audio visual material thank you have a nice day